guys, this is Eric from Miller Music, and today we're going to be doing part three of our Studio One tutorial series, and this is going to be dealing with how to record MIDI in Studio One. So for those of you who don't know what MIDI is, mu MIDI is, stands for Musical Instrument Digital Interface. Basically, it's a fancy way of saying, you know, the computer is generating its sounds from the samples, okay, from ones and zeros on the computer. Um, so there's a couple different ways you can enter MIDI information in. One is through a MIDI keyboard, uh, such as this. This is an MPK Mini. Uh, the other th way to do it is um, through a regular keyboard. If it's hooked up, uh, hooked up via USB cord, you can also just manually do it by clicking the notes in with your keyboard or just uh, with your mouse. So there's several different ways to do it. Um, if you do have a MIDI keyboard, you go to Preferences in Studio One just to make sure it's set up. Um, and you go to External Devices over here. And it, um, you can see my MPK Mini. My other keyboard um, is not hooked up, so it says Port Not Found. But if you hook it up via USB cord, it should automatically recognize it. Um, if it doesn't, um, you can connect it and then select um, what sounds or what kind of source you have coming from it. Um, so it's really simple to do. Um, I have basically a drum kit here um, and a bass, um, but you can do any kind of MIDI instrument. So whether it's guitars or a synth pad or um, drums and Studio One comes with a whole bunch of sounds um, with it. This is this is literally just the bass sounds. Uh, strings, drum kits, guitars, keyboards, percussion. Um, you have organs, um, piano sounds, brass sounds, um, symphony orchestra sounds. Okay, so there's there's tons of sounds that you can get with MIDI, and that's really the powerful feature of it. Um, it's really great for electronic music. Um, so, but just just to start with, let's just open up a drum. Okay, and so. I have a basic kit selected here. You double tap on it to create a region. Okay, if I double click on this again, um, it opens up um, each measure in a greater detail. Okay, and it shows you the quantized settings. And the so if I if I have a sixteenth note set here, it'll have four blocks per beat. If I change this here to an eighth note, it'll have two blocks per beat. Okay, quarter note would have obviously one block beat per beat. Um, and then through here, you can select either a keyboard, a drum kit, or even um, a musical staff. Okay, and so s since this is a drum kit, we're going to use drums. And over here, if you just select general MIDI drums, it'll pull up the sounds um, associated with each key on the pad. And so what we're going to do is go to uh, a very, very basic drum beat. So I'll just put the drum sounds in here. Um, I'll just do bass drum on one and three, and I'll do snare on um, two and four. And then really simply, I'm just gonna put a closed hi-hat in. Okay, so there's our drum loop. And if we play it back, it just goes like that. Now you can loop it up here if you want by selecting this. Um, and then you can whoop, loop it back and forth. Okay. Or um, if you're building out a whole entire song, if you just select this and hit D, it'll duplicate this as many measures across the top as you want. Uh, which is a really cool and fast feature to do. And then, of course, if you, you know, say on measure four, you wanted to change it up and you wanted to, let's say, move the kick drum to here, or that's a snare drum, sorry. If you wanted to move the kick drum to here, you could edit and, you know, make each beat a little fancier. Um, and then for bass, um, you could do the same thing. Okay, so this is a keyboard setting, so it shows you the bass notes here. Um, or you could play them. You know, that's my MIDI keyboard. Okay, so if I wanted to record in real time, okay. Okay, not the hippest bass line in the world, but. OK, 
okay so that I didn't play that perfectly so if you go to here okay and if I click Q it'll automatically line those bass notes up with whatever I have the quantize uh, quantize setting to quantize basically means it's aligning things to the nearest beat okay so let's just listen to what that did so now it's perfectly on beat um, you could also manually just click and drag each note if you wanted to do that. Um, if you wanted to transpose it, if you right click on that, you can click transpose and that would change the key. So um, if you wanted to move it down um, by two semitones, you just click negative two and click, click OK and it automatically moves that down and you can hear Okay, so it just changed the key. Really cool if you want to change the key for, um, you know, different instruments or if, if you're singing a song and it's not the right key for your voice, you can change the entire key. Um, the last thing I want to show you is down here, the velocity, um, which basically means how hard or soft you're playing each note. And, um, you know, for it, this is really cool because you can see here it when I clicked it in it just set the velocity for the same velocity um, for each for each note I clicked in okay but if I select all of these hi-hats and let's say I want to just bring like the second one down and the fourth one down and this one down so it's not it's a little bit more human now let's listen to that So you, you hear the difference in the hi-hat. I can adjust the levels down here. These other things are for um, things I'm not going to get into right now. Pitch bend, um, note controller. Okay, if you have a controller, a MIDI keyboard, and you want to adjust the parameters of that, you can do that down through here. Okay, so, and then lastly, the export settings are the same. So um, you can export this, and it will automatically turn it into a WAV or an MP3 file. Um, just I hit command X um, and then you go here and you can select you know what kind of format you want mp3 wave file etc and where you want to save it to and it will save it as a as an audio file instead of an mp3 file okay guys so that's it that's a basic overview of how you record MIDI in studio one uh, please subscribe to this video like it and uh, we'll see you in the next video thanks bye bye